So, today we are at the Sabino Lodge, located in Rwanda. And I'm gonna be showing you around this place. We're gonna be doing gorilla trekking tomorrow and the next day. So we'll be- We here. just got taken to our cottage, which what I've seen of it is absolutely phenomenal. We have our own private butlers here who just escorted us up. And as you can see behind, we're in the middle of the jungle out here. So pretty exciting. So let's start with the patio area here. This is our seating area. As you look back at the jungle, I'm told, and we haven't seen them yet, that we do have monkeys and sheep and every other kind of animal that likes to run through here in the night. So we got a very, very comfortable area out here. Let's move into the uh, living room. Cow. What a yeah. view out your desk. You have a workstation here. We have charging stations over there. Fireplace. Our butler said he'll have that lit for us tonight. Nice seating area in front. Moving over here, king size bed. They have bottled water ready for you. Move over here, this is where your luggage storage area is. You really can't bring much luggage up here. You're kind of restricted, um, especially on the small flights that we were on. Uh, they do have a coffee station here, tea, whatever you might want. And we have a mini bar stocked with beers, uh, waters, wine, got some milk for uh, your coffee or your tea in the morning. Check out this bathroom. It is absolutely gorgeous. Giant shower, double sinks, so you're not crowding. A soak tub, which I'll probably need after hiking tomorrow. And we have towels over here. So, super impressive. Now let's go down, let's take a look at the main lodge. So here we're walking up to the main area, the main area of the lodge. It's a beautiful setting out here and we're gonna grab a very late lunch. And here's the seating area, which overlooks the valley below. And there's another walking trail down there that we'll be going down taking a look at. When you enter the main lodge area, you can't help but be struck by the beautiful woods and decorations that adorn this place along with the comfortable overstuffed leather couches that are all around. They have a souvenir shop in the next room with hats, clothing, and some beautiful African items that you might be interested in taking home. Moving down the hall is another great room, which actually is the bar and lounge area, and it overlooks the lower valley with beautiful views throughout the numerous windows in that room. They have a fully stocked bar with top shelf liquors, fine wines and beer, all of which are complimentary with your stay at the lodge. During the evenings, the fireplaces are all lit to take the chill out of the air while you sit and reminisce about the adventures you have had while in this wonderful country. That all of your cottages are just totally secluded. Uh, they're all spread out. The property is massive. Uh, be prepared to walk a little bit to get to your cottage because like I said, it's quite secluded, so they don't want guests bumping into each other or anybody walking by your, your cottage. But this is what the walkway in the property looks like. As you saw on the sign, you're at about 8,200 feet, so you can get a little winded uh, walking around through here. But it is just absolutely gorgeous to see. As we go up here, we are told tonight this is where a show is going to be put on for all of the guests that are uh, staying here that want to come up and see it. And it's a going to be a dancing show with all the villagers from the town or the village that is just down a ways. So they have this beautiful area here that's laid out. And our uh, uh, waiter, Donad, told us let us know what kind of drinks. We're going to have a bar set up here and the show will take place down here. So we'll see what that looks like in just a little bit.
The Sabino Silverback Lodge is probably the coziest place that we've ever been to. Due to the size and large seating areas with multiple fireplaces, you never feel the least bit crowded. The staff monitors your needs but are never intrusive, which gives you time to reflect on the wonderful day that you just had. The lounge looks at the chain of 15,000 foot volcanoes stretching through Rwanda, Uganda, and the Congo. From the lodge, you have a view of the volcanoes to the north and over the agricultural lowlands to the south, and it's only a 15 minute drive to start your gorilla trek. So on behalf of Sabzio Silverback Lodge staff and management, I uh, really appreciate We thank you for staying with us and we hope that we shall see you again. All right, and that was our waiter, Donat, here in the dining room and more importantly, in the bar also. He mixes the greatest drinks and is a greatest server here. So really appreciate his service on our last night. Thank you very much. Pretty nice to walk into this. Laundry's all done. Another nice treat is a hot water bottle in your bed on both sides. Keep you toasty warm all night. Well, we've been here at the lodge for three days and I can say without hesitation, this place is absolutely fantastic place I would highly recommend. Starting off with the service here, it is impeccable. You're given your own butler who takes care of your room, takes care of any of your needs, stocks the room with anything that you want. You have a full mini bar in there if that's what you're looking for and you have great coffee in there. Also, the lodge, just beautiful as you saw by some of the video. One of the things that's really nice, obviously if you're up here, you're probably gonna be doing the gorilla hiking. They supply you with the rain jackets, they supply you with a lunch to take up, backpack, and the gaiters uh, for your uh, boots so you keep the mud off your pants. Although that doesn't work all, all the time because it does get muddy up here when it rains. Uh, so all that stuff is taken care of for you. And the location here is literally right by the uh, trailhead that you take up to go see the gorillas. The place is teeming with monkeys, so uh, if you want to see the wildlife, monkeys, birds, parrots, whatever they all are, they're here. And uh, the chef here is one of the best. I mean, the food that we've been served is, again, just so delicious and so tasteful. Um, so another good reason. I hope the community this helped you, this video, and uh, I really appreciate you watching Pat's Adventures. There's also going to be a video downloaded of our gorilla hike. And uh, the unique thing about that is we got to witness them mating. And that's very, very, very unusual. And um, uh, National Geographic has been up here over and over for weeks at a time trying to get that. And we were one of the lucky few that got to see that. But to be with those gorillas, it's just a lifetime uh, of memories that's going to be left for you. So. Please uh, make some comments on the video, watch the other one when it comes down, and please subscribe. But I do like getting the comments and getting the feedback. So once again, thanks for watching Pat's Adventures, and take care.